Samantha Ray's fingers flew over the keyboard, green lines of code reflecting in her dark eyes as she burrowed deeper into the labyrinth of firewalls and encrypted data. The black box on her desk beeped insistently, a countdown ticking away the seconds until the worm she'd planted would grant her access to the NSA's most secure servers. Three, two, one. The screen flashed white and a triumphant grin spread across her face. She was in. Years of meticulous planning, of cultivating her skills in the shadowy underworld of hackers and cybercrime, had all led to this moment. The secret files that would expose the corruption rotting away at the highest levels of government were finally within her grasp. But just as her fingertips brushed the enter key, a strong hand clamped down on her shoulder. I wouldn't do that if I were you. That voice, low and gravelly, sent a familiar shiver down her spine. Slowly, Samantha turned to face the man looming over her, his chiseled features illuminated by the glow of the computer screens. Ethan. Dot. His name fell from her lips in a breathless whisper. A thousand memories crashing over her like a tidal wave. Memories of stolen kisses under the neon lights of underground hacker dens, of adrenaline-fueled nights spent pushing the boundaries of both the law and their own desires. What are you doing here? Stopping you from making a huge mistake. Ethan's ice-blue eyes bored into hers, his grip on her shoulder tightening. You have no idea what you're messing with, Sam. Who you're messing with. She jerked out of his grasp, anger flaring in her chest. I know exactly what I'm doing. Exposing the truth. Isn't that what you taught me, Ethan? To never stop digging, no matter the cost? A shadow passed over his face, his jaw clenching. Some truths are better left buried. For everyone's sake. Before Samantha could reply, the door to her apartment burst open, the wood splintering as a tactical team in black Kevlar streamed in, weapons drawn. Ethan stepped in front of her, shielding her body with his own as red laser sights danced over them. Ethan Wolf, you're under arrest for treason and cyber-terrorism. A familiar figure stepped through the chaos, his salt-and-pepper hair and steel-gray suit unmistakable. And as for you, Ms. Ray, your country has a job offer you can't refuse. Deputy Director John Reese, head of the CIA's Clandestine Operations Division. The man who'd recruited Samantha all those years ago, plucking her from a women's correctional facility and giving her a choice, rot in prison for her hacking crimes, or use her skills to serve her country. She'd chosen the latter, but not before falling headlong into a forbidden romance with her partner and mentor, the legendary white hat hacker Ethan Wolf a romance that had ended in heartbreak and betrayal when he'd vanished without a trace two years prior, leaving her to pick up the shattered pieces. And now, seeing him in cuffs, accused of the very crimes they'd once fought to prevent. It was like a knife to the heart all over again. I don't understand, Samantha whispered, fighting to keep the tremor from her voice as the team hauled Ethan away. Ethan would never betray his country. Betray me. Nandi. Wake up, Samantha. Director Reese snapped. Wolf was playing you from the start. You were just too lovesick to see it. Tears stung her eyes, but she blinked them back, lifting her chin. Then I'll be the one to bring him in. Glad to hear it. Reese threw a thick file on her desk, the red classified stamp glaring up at her. Because that's your new mission. Infiltrate Wolf's cyber terrorist group, uncover his plot, and stop the attack. He leaned in close, his aftershave failing to mask the scent of whiskey and desperation. Do whatever it takes, Ray. Failure is not an option. For any of us. With that, he strode out, leaving Samantha alone with the shambles of her world. The man she loved. A traitor. Her own heart and loyalties, torn to shreds. And a new mission that would force her to confront both. She reached for the file with shaking fingers, steeling herself for the soul-crushing truths within. Truths that would send her hurtling into a web of conspiracy and lies beyond anything she could have ever imagined. With trembling hands, Samantha opened the file, the weight of her new mission settling like a lead ball in her stomach. The first page was a grainy surveillance photo of Ethan, his once warm blue eyes now hard and cold, as he stood amidst a group of shadowy figures.
figures Samantha recognized from her days in the hacker underground, the most dangerous cybercriminals in the world. Her heart clenched, a wave of nausea rising in her throat. How could the man who'd taught her everything, who'd held her in the dark and made her feel alive for the first time in her life, be one of them? Stealing herself, she flipped to the next page, a chill running down her spine at the bold red letters, screaming up at her, Operation Blackout. The details of Ethan's plot unfolded before her disbelieving eyes. A plan to infiltrate and destroy the world's financial systems, to plunge global markets into chaos and bring governments to their knees. And there, at the bottom of the page, a familiar name that made Samantha's blood run cold. Maggie Ray. Her estranged mother, a woman she hadn't seen since she was a child. And apparently a key player in Ethan's terrorist cabal. Samantha swallowed hard against the bitter tang of betrayal, an old ache resurfacing beneath her ribs. The ache of a little girl waiting by the window for a mother who never came home. A mother who'd left her to a life of foster homes and juvenile detention centers, who'd been nowhere to be found when Samantha had needed her most. And now, to learn that same mother was conspiring with the man who'd shattered Samantha's heart and trust. It was too much to bear. Blinking back the hot press of tears, Samantha shoved the file away and stood on numb legs. She had a job to do. A world to save. Her own bleeding heart would have to wait. Weeks later, Samantha found herself in the heart of Rome's ancient catacombs, the damp stone walls pressing in on her as she moved silently through the shadows. Her body thrummed with the familiar adrenaline rush of being deep undercover. Every sense heightened, every nerve singing with razor-sharp focus. She'd tailed Ethan here, watching from afar as he'd met with a contact, and descended into the twisting tunnels. Now, as she tracked him through the maze, her mind raced with unanswered questions. What was he doing here? What secrets lay buried in this subterranean labyrinth? Rounding a corner, Samantha froze, her heart stuttering to a halt. There, in a dimly lit chamber, stood Ethan. And Maggie. They were locked in a heated embrace, the years melting away as Samantha watched her mother reach up to caress Ethan's face, with a tender familiarity that spoke of a long shared history. Did you get it? Maggie asked breathlessly as they broke apart. The cipher key. Ethan nodded, pulling a small flash drive from his pocket. The last piece of the puzzle. With this, we can bypass any security system in the world. Bring it all crashing down. Maggie's green eyes, so like Samantha's own, glinted with cold satisfaction. And my daughter? She suspects nothing? A muscle ticked in Ethan's jaw. Samantha's not a threat. By the time she realizes what's happening, it will be too late. Rage and anguish warred in Samantha's chest, a strangled cry tearing from her throat before she could stop it. Ethan and Maggie whipped around, eyes widening as they took in her shaking form in the archway. Um, Nigel. Ethan breathed, taking a halting step toward her. I can explain. Don't. Ah. Uh. Samantha bit out, leveling her gun at his chest, even as hot tears spilled down her cheeks. You lied to me. Both of you. My own mother. A cruel smile curved Maggie's lips. Oh, darling, you have no idea what lies really are. She held out a hand, her voice sickly sweet. But come with us, and I'll show you. Show you everything I've been working for, all these years. Everything I left you for. Samantha's finger tightened on the trigger, her vision blurring with unshed tears. Her entire world was imploding, the foundations of her identity crumbling to dust. In that moment, she didn't know her own mother. Didn't know Ethan. Didn't even know herself. Samantha, please. Ethan's voice cracked, real pain fracturing his expression. It wasn't all a lie. What I felt for you. What I still feel. It's the only true thing I have left. She shook her head vehemently, even as her treacherous heart ached to believe him. Don't. I, I can't. I can't do this. Then she was turning on her heel and fleeing blindly into the dark tunnels, Ethan's anguished call of her name echoing behind her. She ran until her lungs burned and her muscles screamed, ran from the shattering revelation of who and what she truly was.
the daughter of a terrorist, the lover of a traitor, a woman caught between duty and her own traitorous heart, with the fate of the world hanging in the balance. And somewhere in the twisting shadows, a flicker of doubt took hold, a searing question that would light the fuse of the most explosive truth of all. Samantha burst out of the catacombs into the golden Italian sunlight, gulping in desperate lungfuls of air as she braced her hands on her knees. Her mind reeled, struggling to process the shattering truths that had just unfolded before her eyes. Her mother, alive and a key player in a global terrorist plot. Ethan, the man she loved, leading the charge to bring the world to its knees. And herself, caught in the crossfire, torn between her duty to stop them, and the aching hunger in her heart that still yearned for the touch of Ethan's hands, the whisper of his breath against her skin. Shoving down the rising tide of emotion, Samantha straightened, squaring her shoulders. She couldn't fall apart now. Not when so much was at stake. She had to find a way to stop Operation Blackout before it was too late. Had to find the strength to confront her mother and the man she loved. To look into their eyes and do what needed to be done, no matter the cost to her own shattered heart. With a deep, steadying breath, Samantha reached for her encrypted phone. There was only one person she could turn to now. Only one person she could trust. Director Reese, she said tightly when he answered. I'm in. But we have to move fast. The final phase of Operation Blackout is already in motion. Understood, Reese replied, his voice crackling with static. Rendezvous at the safe house in 20. And Samantha. A heavy pause. I'm sorry. For all of it. Tears stung her eyes, but Samantha blinked them back. Just tell me how to stop them. How to. How to end this. Twenty minutes later, sequestered in a nondescript apartment on the outskirts of the city, Samantha pored over classified files and intel reports, her heart growing heavier with each damning page. The sheer scope and audacity of Operation Blackout took her breath away. A multi-pronged cyber attack designed to cripple power grids, erase financial data, and sell chaos on a global scale. And at the center of it all, the beating heart of the plot was the quantum supercomputer codenamed Olympus. Housed in a secret facility deep in the Swiss Alps, Olympus had the processing power to break any encryption, bypass any firewall. With it, Ethan and Maggie could bring the world to its knees with the tap of a key. We have to destroy it, Samantha said grimly, looking up at Director Reese. Olympus is the key to everything. Without it, Operation Blackout falls apart. Reese nodded, his weathered face drawn and tired. Agreed. But the facility is heavily guarded. Impenetrable. A wry, aching smile tugged at Samantha's lips. Not to me. And so the plan was formed. Samantha would infiltrate the Olympus facility, using her hacking skills and intimate knowledge of Ethan's methods to bypass security and plant a virus that would destroy the quantum computer from the inside out. Reese and his team would run interference, keeping Ethan and Maggie's forces at bay. It was a suicide mission. They both knew it. But as Samantha armed up, slipping knives into her boots and loading her Glock, a strange sense of calm settled over her. This was her destiny. Her chance to right the wrongs of her past, to finally choose a side in the war that had raged within her for so long. She just prayed she had the strength to see it through, even if it meant losing everything, and everyone, she'd ever loved. The icy wind whipped Samantha's hair as she stood at the edge of the snowy cliff, staring down at the sprawling compound nestled in the valley below. Olympus, the gleaming heart of darkness that had haunted her every waking thought and fitful dream. Somewhere inside those reinforced concrete walls, Ethan and her mother were preparing to unleash digital Armageddon, and it was up to Samantha to stop them. Drawing a deep, bracing breath, she checked her gear one last time, the gun at her hip, the knives strapped to her thigh, the innocuous flash drive containing the virus that would bring Olympus to its knees. Then, with a final nod to Reese and his assembled strike team, she stepped off the ledge and rappelled silently down the icy rock face. The first line of defense, 
A phalanx of armed guards patrolling the perimeter fell before they even knew what hit them. Samantha's aim sure and true as she picked them off one by one. She moved like a wraith through the swirling snow, a creature of shadow and silence, her heart echoing the cold stillness of the night. Breaching the facility's outer doors with a pilfered keycard and a prayer, Samantha slipped inside, her senses on high alert as she navigated the labyrinthine halls. Left, right, left again, following the map seared into her memory, the path to the belly of the beast. And then she was there, standing before the gleaming steel door that housed Olympus, her breath pluming in the frigid air. This was it. The moment of truth. Fingers flying over the keypad, Samantha input the override code Reese had given her, her heart in her throat. The lock disengaged with a soft beep, and the door swung open, revealing Ethan and Maggie standing side by side in the cavernous server room, twin expressions of cold triumph on their faces. Hello, Samantha, Maggie said, her voice echoing off the humming banks of computers. I'm so glad you could join us for this historic moment. Samantha's grip tightened on her gun, her eyes locked on Ethan's impassive face. I'm not here to join you, she bit out. I'm here to stop you. But even as the words left her lips, a flicker of doubt crept up her spine. The room was empty, no other guards or personnel in sight. And Ethan and Maggie? They weren't armed. They weren't even trying to stop her. They were just standing there, watching her with an almost pitying look in their eyes. Stop us, Ethan echoed softly. Oh, Samantha, my brilliant, beautiful Samantha. You still don't understand, do you? He took a step toward her, his hands held out pleadingly. There is no Operation Blackout. No doomsday plot to bring the world to its knees. Samantha shook her head vehemently, even as a seed of sickening comprehension took root in her gut. No, no, I saw the files. The intel. Olympus. It's all real. Olympus is real, Maggie conceded. But not in the way you think. She gestured to the servers, her eyes shining with a feverish light. Olympus isn't a weapon, Samantha. It's a tool. A way to break the chains of the corrupt powers that have held humanity down for so long. Ethan nodded, his expression pained. The real threat the real enemy. <laughs> it's the very people you work for. The shadow agencies and secret cabals that pull the strings of world governments, that engineer wars and famines and suffering to line their own pockets. He took another step, his voice low and urgent. Olympus can expose them, Samantha. Can drag their darkest deeds into the light and give the power back to the people. That's what this has all been about. That's the real Operation Blackout, shining a light in the darkness. Samantha's gun wavered, her head spinning. It couldn't be true. It couldn't all have been a lie, a twisted mirror image of the truth. And yet, the pieces began to fall into sickening place. The way Reese had always seemed to know more than he let on, the cryptic warnings and redacted files, the shadow players pulling strings behind the scenes, directing her every move like a puppet on a stage. And Ethan. Ethan had tried to warn her, tried to protect her from the very beginning. Even as he'd played his role in the Great Masquerade, he'd loved her. Truly, deeply, with a fierce desperation that had driven him to desperate acts. With a shaking hand, Samantha lowered her gun. I don't... I don't know what to believe anymore. Maggie stepped forward, her eyes soft and beseeching. Believe this, Samantha. You are my daughter. And I love you. I left all those years ago to protect you, to keep you safe from the very forces that seek to destroy us now. A tear slipped down Samantha's cheek, the ache in her chest cracking wide open. The lost little girl inside her, the one who had yearned for her mother's love, for a place to belong, surged to the surface. Tell me what to do, she whispered brokenly. Tell me how to make this right. Ethan closed the distance between them, folding her into his arms. Together, he murmured into her hair. We finish this together. We use Olympus to tear down the old world order and build something new, something better. A world where we can finally be free. Samantha clung to him, 
breathing in the achingly familiar scent of his skin, feeling the pieces of her shattered heart slowly knit back together. Yes, this was where she belonged. This was her destiny, her true calling. To stand by the sides of the two people she loved most, to fight for a better future. No more secrets, no more lies. Only the burning light of truth and the unbreakable bonds of blood and love. Drawing back, Samantha wiped her eyes and squared her shoulders, facing the banks of servers with a newfound sense of purpose. All right then, she said, a small fierce smile tugging at her lips. Let's get to work. Together, they strode forward into the cool blue glow of Olympus, ready to rewrite the very code of history. Ready to bring the darkness to its knees and usher in a new era of light. And as Samantha's fingers flew over the keys, Ethan and Maggie at her side, she finally understood the truth that had eluded her for so long. Home wasn't a place. It was a feeling, a fire in the blood, a quiet certainty in the soul. And she was finally, truly home.